Imagine driving an electric car for an entire decade, every day, and still having virtually the same range as on day one. It sounds far-fetched, but that's exactly what Tesla promises with its new generation of batteries designed for the Model 2. According to recent statements from Elon Musk and test data conducted by renowned researcher Dr. Jeff Dunn, this new battery is designed to last an impressive 1 million miles, something close to 1.6 million kilometers. This is a game changer, especially when most current electric vehicles start to lose performance well before reaching half that mark. This longevity isn't based solely on commercial promises. Tests conducted by Don and his team show impressive laboratory results. More than 13,000 complete charge and discharge cycles, which equates to many years of daily use without major losses. And most surprising is the capacity retention. Even after a decade, the cells maintain over 90% of their efficiency. This means that someone who bought a car in 2026 will still be able to drive long distances with the same confidence in 2036 without worrying about replacing the battery, something almost unthinkable until recently. Beyond the direct impact on consumers' pockets, this leap in durability has enormous implications for the future of electric mobility. Consider robo-taxis, which must travel hundreds of thousands of kilometers per year. If the battery can handle all this without needing replacement, operating costs plummet. Entire fleets will be able to operate almost non-stop, drastically reducing maintenance costs and maximizing the useful life of each vehicle. This not only improves economies of scale, but also reinforces the argument that electric vehicles are indeed sustainable in the long term. Another interesting point is that this new generation of batteries was designed from the outset to integrate the entire car system. It's not just about squeezing a better battery into the same space. The structural design was optimized to better distribute weight, improve safety, and even improve the vehicle's aerodynamics. All of this contributes to more balanced, quieter, and more efficient performance, even after years of intense use. It's a systemic approach that demonstrates how Tesla is aiming high with engineering that thinks decades ahead, the general public hasn't yet fully grasped the impact of this innovation, but the signs are all there. The idea of replacing a car because the battery is gone may be on its last legs. In fact, the most curious thing is to imagine the opposite. The car continuing to function perfectly while everything else around it ages, like the infotainment system or the design itself. This could lead to an unprecedented phenomenon in the market, in which the battery becomes the most valuable and long-lasting component of the entire vehicle. And in this context, the car ceases to be a quick consumption good and becomes a true long-term investment. If this new battery truly delivers on its promises, the entire market will need to adapt. Not just manufacturers, but also insurers, repair shops, rental agencies, and, of course, consumers. A battery that lasts 1 million miles doesn't just change the vehicle, it changes the concept of ownership. And this new understanding of what it means to own a car could pave the way for completely different business models than we know today. After all, if there's no longer a need for battery replacement or frequent maintenance, what else could change? With this idea of a virtually eternal battery, Tesla's plans for the Model 2 begin to make more sense. This will not only be the automaker's cheapest vehicle, with a projected price tag of around 10,199s, but also the most strategically intelligent. It's not just about affordability, it's about turning an ordinary car into a source of passive income. Instead of sitting idle in the garage for hours every day, the Model 2 will be able to drive autonomously as part of Tesla's own fleet of robo-taxis, generating income for the owner while they're at home or work. The concept behind this is simple, yet incredibly powerful. Imagine someone who buys a Model 2 and uses it during the day for their errands. When they get home at night, instead of leaving the car idle, they activate robo-taxi mode. The car, with its full autonomy, sets out on its own to pick up passengers around the city. 
No driver, no fuel, no premature battery wear, just profit. This inversion of logic transforms the car from a financial liability into a revenue-generating asset. And the idea is that Tesla's own system takes care of everything. Routes, security, payments, and maintenance. For this to work, of course, the car needs to be reliable and inexpensive to maintain. And that's exactly where the Model 2's new battery and design simplicity come in. The 1 million mile lifespan ensures the car won't become obsolete in a few years. Maintenance costs, with fewer moving parts and software updates, will be incredibly low. This attracts both everyday users and companies interested in building small fleets. And the more cars in the network, the greater the profit potential for Tesla, which will also take a cut of the rides made by each robo-taxi. This shared structure between owner and company creates a new ecosystem where everyone wins. Those who buy the car can turn it into a source of income. Tesla, in turn, expands its global fleet without having to bear the manufacturing costs of each unit used as a taxi. And passengers now have access to a cheaper and more environmentally friendly transportation service than traditional means. Musk's vision of on-demand, clean, and decentralized mobility begins to take shape with this business model. And the icing on the cake is the price. A price so affordable that it could open the doors to electric cars for millions of people. But the Model 2's financial potential isn't limited to extra income. It also represents a new kind of stability for low-income families, small entrepreneurs, and residents of urban areas where transportation is a challenge. With an affordable, economical, and income-generating vehicle, many people will finally be able to own a car that's not just a means of transportation, but a financial solution. And at the pace the mobility market is evolving, this approach could spread rapidly, especially in countries with high urban density and a high cost of living. For all of this to work viably on a large scale, Tesla would need a battery type that was not only durable, but also efficient, inexpensive to manufacture, and easy to integrate into compact vehicles like the Model 2. That's where the evolution of the 4680 cell, now in the Gen 2 version, came in. At first glance, this change may seem minimal. After all, the new format only slightly increased the height of the cells. But this small adjustment hides a giant leap in battery engineering. With more internal volume per cell, the energy capacity per unit increases significantly, which directly impacts the car's range and performance. Fewer cells for the same power output means a simpler battery structure. With fewer solder points, fewer connectors, and less chance of failure. And this isn't just good for the car owner. It's great for the assembly line. The leaner the battery's internal architecture, the faster and cheaper it is to manufacture. Tesla can, for example, reduce the number of cells required for the same power pack by up to 25%, which represents direct savings in materials, assembly time, and logistics. In an affordable model like the Model 2, where every penny counts, this makes all the difference. In addition to the optimized structure, heat dissipation has also been redesigned in the new generation. Batteries that overheat, lose efficiency, age faster, and can pose serious safety risks. With Gen 2, the larger cell size offers a thermal advantage. More contact surface means better heat exchange with cooling systems. Additionally, the use of new thermal interface materials and redesigned cooling plates ensures more even heat distribution. This not only protects the cells, but also allows for faster and safer charge cycles, even under heavy use. Another technical detail that seems small but has a huge impact is the cell's tableless architecture. Instead of using metal tabs to connect the electrodes to the cell's ends, Tesla adopted a continuous spiral design that distributes the current more evenly. This reduces internal resistance, allows for higher currents without overheating, and enables ultra-fast charging. In practice, the Model 2 will be able to recharge a good portion of its range in just a few minutes, crucial for a car that can transition from personal use to robo-taxi use in a matter of hours. 
And the engineering doesn't stop there. All this innovation needs to be affordable to keep the car's price below $11,000. Therefore, Tesla combined the new format with a cheaper chemical option, the use of LFP, which will be explored in more detail in the next section. But what's worth highlighting here is that this combination, larger cells, simplified structure, efficient cooling, and tableless architecture, forms a robust and reliable package. All this without resorting to expensive materials or complex techniques that could make mass production unfeasible. A more efficient battery would be a huge step forward in itself, but Tesla went further by completely rethinking the materials used in the Model 2's cell chemistry. Instead of continuing to rely on expensive metals like nickel and cobalt, present in higher-end models, the company opted for a simpler, cheaper, and safer alternative, LFP, or lithium iron phosphate. This choice wasn't just financial. LFP doesn't require metals that are becoming increasingly scarce and expensive, and also pose serious geopolitical risks. Cobalt, for example, is mostly mined in the Democratic Republic of Congo, a country marked by allegations of child labor and political instability. LFP's key advantage lies in its balance between cost, safety, and durability. It doesn't have the same energy density as nickel-based compounds, but it's incredibly stable. This means the cells heat up less, have a lower risk of catching fire, and last longer through charge and discharge cycles without significant loss of capacity. For the Model 2, which needs to be affordable and reliable, this stability is perfect. And because the car will use the new 4680 Gen 2 cells with greater internal volume, LFP can deliver competitive range even with lower density. This solves the biggest problem this type of chemistry faced until recently. Another relevant point is that LFP allows for simpler and cheaper cooling systems. Because the battery doesn't heat up as much, Tesla can eliminate parts and structures that were previously needed simply to keep the temperature under control. This reduces weight, cuts costs, and simplifies production. And when you're talking about millions of cars, every screw that's no longer used represents savings on an industrial scale. It's the sum of small technical decisions like this that makes the Model 2's price seem almost impossible for a modern electric car, but now it's starting to make sense. And there's one more detail that few people discuss. The use of LFP is also an important step toward independence from Asian networks. China dominates nickel and cobalt battery production, but LFP can be produced with more abundant raw materials and from more diverse suppliers. This gives Tesla greater control over its supply chain, crucial in a world where logistical disruptions are increasingly frequent. By reducing dependence on unstable regions, the company ensures that the Model 2 can be produced at scale without the risk of unexpected bottlenecks. To complete this chemical and structural combination, Tesla is using dry electrode technology developed by Maxwell Technologies. This process eliminates the use of toxic solvents in cell manufacturing, reducing the environmental footprint of production by up to 40%. Furthermore, it allows for the application of thicker layers of active material, improving energy density even in the LFP. The result is a more efficient cell that's cleaner to produce and cheaper, all in line with the Model 2's vision of being the affordable electric car of the future. With all these technological pieces falling into place, the question arises, how will Tesla produce enough batteries to power millions of Model 2s and still keep the price low? The answer lies behind the scenes, specifically in the factories. Giga Texas has become the beating heart of this new phase. Currently, the only facility in the world capable of manufacturing 4680 Gen 2 cells with dry electrode technology. And the difference here lies not only in the innovation, but in the way everything was architected. Battery production and car assembly take place in the same location, eliminating costs and delays associated with transportation between different plants. This total integration has a direct impact on the car's efficiency and final cost. Each stage of production was designed to function as a continuous line, 
from cell manufacturing to pack assembly, and from the pack to the car's structure. This drastically reduces the time between each phase and reduces waste, which is essential when the goal is to sell an electric vehicle for under $11,000. And it's no exaggeration to say that the secret to the Model 2's success may lie not only in the battery engineering, but also in the factory engineering. Furthermore, Giga Texas's location benefits Tesla in several ways. Being a plant in the United States, the company benefits from local tax incentives and a closer, more reliable supply chain. This is particularly important in an unstable global environment where dependence on distant suppliers can compromise deadlines and increase costs. With materials sourced closer and a solid internal logistics system, Giga Texas can sustain high production volumes without any surprises along the way. And the plan is ambitious to produce enough energy to power between one, five and two million Model 2s per year. But Tesla isn't stopping there. While Giga Texas is already in full swing, another giant is in the works, Giga Mexico. Announced in 2023, this new factory will be specifically focused on producing affordable models and expanding the robo-taxi fleet. Strategically located in northern Mexico, the plant will take advantage of lower labor and infrastructure costs, further reinforcing the effort to keep the Model 2 affordable without compromising quality. It is expected to begin operations in 2026, helping to double or even triple Tesla's global capacity. Giga Mexico was designed from the outset with a focus on optimized production for Gen 2 cells. This means dedicated assembly lines, streamlined logistics, and direct integration with the distribution network in the Americas. Furthermore, with Mexico as a base, Tesla can serve not only the United States, but also Latin American countries, opening doors for the expansion of the popular electric car in emerging markets. And because production will be local, the impact on final prices tends to be even more favorable in these markets, where freight and tax costs are often limiting factors. Tesla's strategy reveals something much bigger than a simple vehicle launch. It involves building a truly global, vertically integrated production infrastructure, where every part, from raw materials to car delivery, is under the company's direct control. This not only ensures efficiency, but also gives Tesla unprecedented autonomy in the face of logistical crises, currency fluctuations, or trade disputes. Ultimately, the factory has gone from being just an assembly space to becoming the invisible engine behind an affordable global electric revolution.